first day of school hey guys happy Wednesday and happy first day of senior year of college today is my first day of school and my first day of senior year and I worked this morning I just got off work it is nine o'clock and it's time to go start my school day so welcome to my first day of school vlog my last first day of college vlog, whatever you want to call it. Happy senior year. Let's let's do this day right. All right, I just got home. I'm going to eat my breakfast quick. Got an iced latte, triple blonde, almond milk, sugar-free vanilla, and an impossible sandwich, no cheese. Going to put some hot sauce on it. But... For those of you that are new here or don't know me, hi, hello, welcome. I'm glad you're here. You should definitely subscribe, stay a while. But um, I'm Grace. I go to Arizona State University. I do their online program through Starbucks. Um, so I work for Starbucks while I go to school and they pay for it. So that's why I do it. It's a really great program. And I am a senior this year. So with that, um, yeah, this is exciting and nerve-wracking, but we're going to make the best of it. And I have some goals and kind of like affirmations that I wrote down about this year that I'm going to share with you guys when I'm done with my breakfast. So, yeah, I have three classes, I'm taking 18 credits, trying to graduate as fast as I can. Um, I'm a health science major with an emphasis in fitness and nutrition coaching. So I'm basically just broadening my knowledge, um, kind of expanding on my certified personal training certificate because the program that I'm taking, if you're not certified, you can graduate and then the degree allows you to sit for a personal training exam. I have mine already, but this is going to give me a little bit more knowledge, expand my scope of practice a little bit more, which is really exciting. So let me eat, I'm starving, and then we will get on with the day and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do, my little routine. Time for school. Okay, so I just got dressed, but I'm gonna like get ready for the day because it helps me be more motivated and first day of school, you gotta gotta show up a little bit even if it is online but i wanted to take this time to kind of talk to you guys be a little bit honest and open about how i'm feeling about this year and about today so obviously this isn't the senior year that i imagined for myself and it's not typical or average um i'm i want to clarify that i'm extremely grateful for the opportunity that i have to go to school for free and to be able to do school here and work and stuff like that however it is a little bit sweet and i am a little bit sad and it's okay to feel those emotions and i let myself feel them and now i'm moving forward and figuring out what i can do to make this as senior year e as i possibly can so the thing is like i i live in a college town there are three universities here well two universities and one tech school however me and all my friends were on a different track um i'm the senior uh my other two friends have a little more time left in school and then yeah but in all honesty i don't really have those college friends that everybody has i have my very best friend mallory 
Um, she was my best friend at the end of high school and then into freshman year of college. And then we both ended up transferring and then we both ended up here. So luckily I have her. And then I have my other best friend, Kenzie. And she, she is my only college friend. <laughs> I met her my freshman year. She was rooming with one of my other friends and we became very close. And now she is here as well doing nursing. And then one of my other close friends, Abby, just graduated. So she works full time now. And then like my other friends are off at different universities and, you know, living that typical college experience, which I know it's not the norm anymore. And I know people are doing different things, but it's still like bittersweet for me. You know, I'm not moving into my college apartment. I'm not, you know, reconnecting with my roommates, seeing my new college friends going to class, you know, sitting with the people in my major. I don't know the people in my major and it's okay. Like it's, it's okay, but it's, it's bittersweet to think that sometimes. So I'm really going to try this year to do things that I would do if I were on campus to treat it like a senior year. Yes, I'm going to be working. Yes, I'm running my business. Yes, I'm doing all these different things but I'm going to treat it like my senior year because it is my senior year and I deserve it. I have gone through so much stuff with college. This is my third school, my final school. I'm finally finding my path and I just, I really want, I really want a senior year. I really want this to be a really great year. So I'm finding ways to make it that way. So a couple of things that I am going to do is meeting up with friends more, doing things with friends more, not spending so much time alone. I'm very much a person where when I have stuff to do, I want to do it now. I want to get it done, no distractions. But in reality, I could go grab a coffee with Mal while we do homework or go to the park and do homework with friends and stuff like that. And because those two are still in school, um, you know, we have the ability to do that together. So I'm definitely going to try to make that a priority. Like today, me and Kenzie and Mal are going to get lunch. And I'm very excited because we have such busy schedules and we haven't had a lot of time for each other this summer. So we definitely all want to make it a priority to see each other more, especially in this last year. Another thing that I want to do is maybe even just go to one of the campuses here where I live and just do homework or study outside, you know? it. It is a different feeling being on campus and doing homework or studying. It's, it is, it just is, you know, going to the library, going to the CAF, going, you know, going to, you know, that main building, whatever you may call it. It's just different. It's just a different feeling going and finding your spot and setting all your stuff out and drinking coffee or getting lunch. And I, that's something that I miss. It is one of the things that I miss. I don't necessarily miss sitting in a classroom for two hours. But I do, I miss being on campus. So I'm going to try to just go on campus. Just pretend like I'm one of them. Nobody's going to know. I'm a college student. Nobody has to know that I don't actually go there. But that's something that I want to do as well. Putting some rings on. Um, these rings are from Target. And then this ring was um, my aunt's who just recently passed away that I got to pick out and have so this one is really special to me but these ones are from target so yeah those are a few things that i want to try to do this year um just to make it feel a little more like i'm in college and like this is a true senior year so i'm gonna make it a habit to get dressed more often you know not always be in sweats or in my robe um come home from work you know get into some comfortable but you know clothes that i would go to class in and just feel the feelings okay so before i jump into everything i do want to share with you guys some of the goals that i wrote down as well as some of the affirmations that i wrote down for this year um, because the other day i was truly feeling a little bit sad um, seeing everybody move back to school and into their dorms or their apartments and being back on campus, I did get a little sad, so decided to write some stuff down just to get my mindset right and to let me feel my feelings, but also just to prepare for this year. So, so fall 2021 semester priorities. I will stay on top of my work. I will not stress over grades. I will learn the material to the best of my ability. 
I will work hard. I'll take care of my physical and my mental health. I'll make time for things other than school and I'll enjoy it. So like I said before, yes, school is important and yes, I wanna prioritize my learning and really get the most out of this last year of school and people teaching me things so that I can go and be the best version of myself in my business and in my career. career. But this also is you know, one of the last for me. Um, after this year, like I won't ever, I won't be a student anymore. So I want to do the things that I would do as a student and I want to prioritize really enjoying every second of it. Um, maybe that's sappy, maybe that's cliche, I don't know, but that's how I feel. Um, last semester, I got very overwhelmed and I didn't make time for a lot of things that I loved to do. And I really let my mental health drop and my mindset shift. So when that semester was over, I took a step back and I really focused on my mindset, my mental health, my priorities, and doing things that I love every single day. And I have been so incredibly happy the past couple months and I'm not going to let school get in the way of that. Um, I'm going to be as organized as I possibly can and allow myself time to do the things that I love. I'm somebody that wants to work ahead as much as possible. I feel like if I'm not doing anything, I'm doing something wrong. If I'm relaxing, there's something to do. And I'm really gonna work on allowing myself that time to relax, allowing myself to get the things done that need to be done today, and then not feeling like I have to do the things that are due tomorrow, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna write everything in my planner and I'm gonna say, hey, this is what you have to do today. If you get it done, go do something that you love to do before you start working on the stuff for tomorrow. Because that's kind of one of my faults is I'm always needing to do something when in reality, I don't need to be doing that much at once. So that, this is what I'm focusing on. Everything that I just read to you is what I'm focusing on, my number one priorities for this semester and this year, honestly. So yeah, let's um, jump off the computer. All right, so the classes that I'm taking right now, um, I'm taking three right now and then three in term B. So the way that ASU does it is one semester is split into two terms, term A and term B, and then you can take up to three classes per term, which then equals 18 credits. I really like that they do it this way, so I don't have to juggle six classes at once. I have to juggle three at once, which is not hard at all. Um, but I was taking two and two the past few semesters, so this is just a little bit of a change, but I should be fine. So um, I'm taking health theory, which is a 340 class. I'm taking physical activity and physical, oh, physical activity and physiology concepts. So the physiology of physical activity, which is also a 335 class. And I'm taking a 400 level class, which is stress management for wellness. Um, one of my classes is not yet opened in Canvas, which is weird, um, but that's okay. I'll get a jump start on these two. But I, one thing that I do, if you can see, is I plan everything out in my planner by week. So I did go through and like wrote down all the due dates for my stuff for the next couple weeks, just so I know what's coming up and things like that. The nice thing about these classes is everything is structured in Canvas like this, and you just go through the modules. It says the due date at the end of each thing. My one class is all on Connect. I don't know if anybody has worked with that before. A lot of science classes use Connect. It's like the book and then like the interactive learning with the book. Um, so that's what this class is. Everything is on there, which I actually really like um, because you basically like read the key concepts and then you do like a question, like an assignment with like questions about each key concept. Um, and then you take a quiz and like that's it for that chapter. So I really like the way that this course is set up and I think this course is going to be my favorite. However, I haven't seen the stuff for my health theory course yet. So we shall see, but got my coffee. Planning out lunch with Ken's and Mal right now. Gonna get some work done. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I just finished um, a few chapters and then a module quiz for 
one of my classes, I'm gonna go back through that quiz, look at the questions that I got wrong, and then retake it um, to hopefully get all the questions right. I like to start off the semester strong, so when they give multiple attempts on the quizzes, even if I just got one wrong, I go back and retake it to just have that solid ground. Um, so I'm gonna do that, but I'm running a little bit late for lunch with Mallory and Kenzie. So I'm just gonna run to the bathroom and then head out to lunch. Today. Oh, we're vlogging. <laughs> Ponies first, ladies. <laughs> so that was really fun. Um, headed home now, but just was nice to catch up with them. Like I said, we've been really busy, so um, yeah, we all agreed that we're going to be doing more things together. Those two do have a little bit of time left of school after I'm done, but we're treating it like our senior year because we started together freshman year. We're going to end together. Um, so we agreed that we're going to do fun stuff and we're going to treat this like our senior year, like we would if we were on campus. So that's exciting. Lunch was really good. I had avocado toast and some fruit, which always hits the spot and a, like the best mango smoothie I've ever had in my entire life. So I'm content. <laughs> it's time to go home and crank out some more schoolwork. of not being able to find the keys might be perceived. All right, just wrapped up a bunch of stuff, um, but stopped myself like I said I would do um, because I have some other stuff that I need to get done before I go to the gym. So I did one module for my activity physio class. And then I did like half of a module for the stress class because that module is really big. Left the rest for tomorrow and Friday because stuff's not due till next week. I have time. So I have to do some stuff now for social media and for personal training and for like my other work stuff outside of Starbucks. So I'm going to get that done now. And then when Ethan gets off work, we're going to go to the gym. Slight change of plans. Um, Ethan is not going to be working out with me. He has to go to work tonight, so I'm going now. I'm going to grab a little snack. Hopping on this Rice Krispie trend. I don't know, man. I mean, I'll eat a Rice Krispie treat before a workout. I'll use the pump as an excuse. I haven't had these in like forever, like since I was a little kid, I don't think. So, I don't know. Just trying it out, I guess. Grab my gym bag, get into the gym, doing back and biceps today. Should be a good one. But yeah, um, by the time I'm back, I should, should be like close to dinner time, so. We'll see what the night brings. If Ethan is not back, I'll probably just do some more schoolwork and get caught up and ready for tomorrow. So time for the gym. Back from the gym, had a really great lift. Going to mix up some pre or post workout now, cause you know the drill, best part of the day. Did the Rice Krispie bar work? I don't know. I look pumped. Oh, I can't tell. I don't know. 
feel like my biceps are like the one part of my body that like, I know they're strong, but they just don't show. I don't know. Post workout, you know, we all got ignition, those glycogen repairs. And formula one, hydrolyzed whey protein, fast assimilating, essential for muscle growth and repair. Gotta get that protein straight to the muscles, baby, and that's what this stack does for you. These two products, as well as all the products that I use, are always linked down below in the description for you guys. They're through First Form. They're my absolute favorite. I 100% believe in these, live by them. I do make a small commission if you shop through that link. However, I would not promote or use products that I didn't believe in, so you can trust me. Hello. Do not judge me, I have not showered yet, but I have a plan. Um, so after I drank my post-workout, I just did a little bit more schoolwork because I wasn't super hungry, but I just made dinner and I made this delicious looking, maybe it's weird to you, but it looks delicious to me, burger salad. I just really wasn't feeling toast, like bread. So I just put my burger on a salad and then sweet corn on the cob. Oh, summer meal dream. So I'm gonna eat this and then I think I'm gonna go for a walk. I love going for walks in the park, um, especially like early in the morning or late early evening, late evening, um, and listen to a podcast and just relax. Like that is a huge relaxation thing for me is going for a walk, listening to a podcast. So I think I'm going to do that and then come back here, maybe have a little dessert and then we're gonna end off the day. So with that, I'm gonna eat the salad. Oh my gosh, she looks so good. And then we're gonna go for a walk. All right, here's my little walking fit. Been liking just throwing a flannel over um, when I go for walks, just, I don't know, because now it's a little something, but yeah, finished dinner, it was really good. Gonna pop my AirPods in now and listen to a podcast, just kind of relax, get some movement in, not gonna lie. I've been feeling very bloated and uncomfortable this week. If you know, you know but walking helps me just clear my mind and moving my body helps me feel better. So gotta do that so I can get a good night's sleep. But let's go for a walk. Wow, that sunlight is really <laughs> popping off. Um, so I got back from my walk and I was in a really good mood. I was very relaxed. I didn't want to pick up my camera. So I just changed and got cleaned up and did a little bit more schoolwork. And now, let me show you gorgeous protein mug cake. I was pretty low on my protein today, so I had to get the rest of that in. Um, so yeah. This is the end of my first day of senior year, my last first day of college from my apartment. And it's okay, like we talked about before, today was a very, very good day. I am very excited and very hopeful for this year. There are so many amazing things to come, so many great opportunities coming my way, and I cannot wait to share them with you guys. So. If you wanna see more videos like this, if you're ready for the school videos, the vlogs, the online college eating videos and all of the exciting stuff that's coming, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like. I truly love making these videos for you guys, but those little things go a very long way. So don't forget to do those to help support me. Thank you guys for being here. Good luck with school or work or wherever you are at in life. Don't forget to stop and appreciate the little things once in a while and know that where you are right now is where you're supposed to be. So love you guys and see you next week.